In today's video, we're going to take a quick look at how we can do some mitigation planning in Risky Project. If we look right here, we have a uh, we've identified one major risk uh, to the project. Unknown requirements very common. We want to take a quick look at <coughs> uh, what it is, and we've identified that the potential. A loss if the risk occurs is 2.5 and with uh, with the probability we get an expected loss of 1.2 million dollars uh, we want to do some planning around this put in some plans uh, and maybe do a little scenario analysis to see if there are any ways that we can reduce that expected loss and where we do that is in the mitigation waterfall chart and what this does is it allows us to step down uh, put in some activities, mitigation activities, and they basically have a schedule, a date when they should be finished, and uh, cost that they will incur for doing those activities, as well as expected changes in probability and impact. Now, we're just going to move out of here for a second. Now, where we put those plans, we can put all of our plans in a central location so they can be used not just for one risk they can be used for multiple risks uh, if you're in the enterprise version again it's a great place uh, to uh, put in all of your uh, mitigation plans now what we've done in here is I've actually created a, uh, a summary mitigation plan with some sub plans and we're, we're going to hire an additional business analyst we're going to get them to complete the analysis <clears throat> and we're going to submit a, a be uh, the report and we're going to have some dates and these right here I really don't uh, they're just sort of default values that we think that's going to occur but obviously depending on the actual risks that you're going to have um, they may have different effects it will pick that up but we can when we actually enter them into the waterfall chart we can change those so let's go back to the risk register we're going to open that up and we're going to add these mitigation plans and I'm just going to quickly hire that additional VA. Oh, quick do a calculation. So we have the results because we changed the. So we're going to hire <coughs> the BA at that time. The probability at that time is that should start to reduce the risk of it occurring, but we still think it's not going to change the impact. So there's not much happening there. <coughs> Uh, we're going to complete the analysis. Now the analysis is going to take a couple months. And at that point, <coughs> we believe that it's going to <coughs> reduce the probability of that risk occurring down to 30%. Again, if it still occurs, it's still going to be the same. So, And then we're going to submit the BA report. We complete the analysis uh, again. <coughs> So once it's accepted, we hope that by that time we'll have brought it down and the impact, we're going to put a little, reduce the impact a little. And what we can see here is now we've, in by uh, <coughs> putting in these mitigation plans, we've seen that our risk was originally here. We brought it down here. Uh, we're able to get, we're going to be able to get a total cost of that risk. And then that is going to be reflected in here. So what we can see, and I'm going to put a cost of the residual risk because we still have, uh, even if we reduce it, if it still occurs. <clears throat> so what we can see right here is we, our expected loss was $1.2 million. We've got some costs from that mitigation tab. Uh, we've got a cost of residual risk. So our expected loss right now is $200,000. The total cost of the risk we've been able to, with mitigation now, we've been able to reduce that by quite a bit into an acceptable range. And the savings that we're going to get from this, so obviously there's some costs associated with it. The savings that we can, uh, we're hoping to get from this is about eight. Um, eight million dollars. Sorry, eight hundred fifty thousand dollars. So uh, perhaps uh, this is the plan that we're going to go with the um, the strategy that about how we're going to handle this risk. So again, um, we can see this. This is our 
a quick sort of sandbox that tells us what the expected value loss of that risk is, what the cost of the mitigation, and any sort of savings that we're going to get from that. It's in the mitigation waterfall chart. We can see that step down process. And just to refresh, we can capture all of those mitigation plans uh, in this view right here. It's called the mitigation response view. Uh, thank you, and if you do have any questions, feel free to contact me, Mike Trumper at Entaver Institute. Uh, my contact information, uh, you'll be able to find it on the uh, our website at www.entaver.com. Thank you very much. Bye.